Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I have an Avalon the game style video here for you. It's more of a troubleshooting tutorial. Um, there's a lot of people that have been having some issues with the logging in and, and being able to connect correctly since we have a lot of people that are jumping in now for alpha. Uh, so, and I expect more people to have issues, but so I'm putting this video together in hopes that it'll really help people avoid a lot of the, the easy issues you could avoid um, just by following the right steps and checking the right things when you're going ahead and logging in. Um, so this will be mostly focused on wax, but can be also be applied uh, from the polygon side. So, and I'll, I'll mention those as I get to those points. Uh, before we get started, we're going to start really with the, the the start of it all. Once you download the launcher, what's the next step that you do? Most people are going into the app and they're going ahead and they're clicking on this every time they log in, which is fine initially if you have it updated. But what this is going to do is this is going to miss any new updates that come out there. So a number of people are having issues where they're they're logging in or they're they're kicking off the app or executing the app through here uh, instead of the launcher. Um, and they're not getting the most recent updates, which is causing some connection issues. So every single time, at least once every 24 hours, what you should do is go ahead in through the launcher. I tend to do it every single time I log in so I don't miss any updates. Remember, we are in alpha. So there's going to be updates being pushed down possibly on a daily basis, possibly every couple days. So you want to make sure that you're always launching from the most recent update. So what you want to do is this is in the main launch launcher folder that you uh, extract from. You go ahead and click on it and it's going to show this. Sometimes it'll show the update here. Sometimes you have to go ahead and click check updates. You can see that I have fully updated and all I have to do is go ahead and hit play. It's a lot safer approach and this is actually accounting for a lot of the issues that people are having. They're just not, not using the most updated uh, version of the application. So always launch from the launcher, check for updates and go ahead and press play. Once you press play, you're going to go ahead and it's going to bring up the application itself. And this is what you'll see if you're already connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and log out. Uh, if you're, if this is your first time logging, logging in or, or using the game itself, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on register. If you click on register, you can go ahead and type in your username, email address, and create a password. That'll create your account. You always are going to have to be logged in in order to play the game because your, your account's connected to your Wax wallet, which is connected to everything within the game. So go ahead and register. Click on register. I'm obviously not going to go ahead and register uh, as part of this. If you already have an account, just go over to log in. Type in your username and password. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to type in my username and password, and we'll go ahead to the next step. Once you either create your account or you log in, uh, there's a few steps that you're going to have to do to go through and connect your actual wallet. I'm, again, using Wax. You can either use Wax or Polygon. It's going to be the same process within the application. The first step that you want to do is you want to come down here on the right side and click on this. If, you're, if your account's not already or your, your, your blockchain's not already selected, go ahead and click on the blockchain and click on Confirm. What that's going to do is make sure that you're on the correct blockchain. If you are on Polygon, you want to go ahead and use Polygon. Anchor, just so everybody's aware, it works. It's a little flaky at the moment, uh, but they are working on that currently. Um, I suggest either using Polygon or Wax, at least for the short term. Uh, this will continue to get better as we go through Alpha and Beta and so forth. So make sure you click on Wax, click on Confirm. And the next thing you're going to want to do, if you see no characters, is go up to My Wallet and click on that and what it's going to do is you're going to have the option here as far as your wallet goes. Check to make sure your wallet address is underneath here. If it is not, what you're going to want to do is click on the connect wallet and that's going to bring up a whole nother screen. It's going to be a website, separate website, so it'll, it'll reach out on, on whatever browser you have as your default and you're going to go ahead and click on connect. I'm not going to do that right now, but if you have a Wax Wallet, click on Connect Wax Wallet. Make sure you're logged into your Wax Wallet when you're doing this. Um, it makes it go a whole lot quicker. Same with Polygon. Um, if you have a Polygon, go ahead and connect on that. And like I said, Anchor is available. Uh, you just have to, it's a little bit flaky at times, so be aware that they are working on it actively. 
So that's one thing that you want to do is make sure that you are connected. Once you go through the connection process, go ahead and again, make sure that your, uh, uh, your wallet address is underneath. You can click on refresh that may resolve any issues that you may have, but that's one main thing. Once you go through these two wallet steps, you click, you check your blockchain, you check your wallet, make sure it's all connected, then go over to inventory. And what you should see is your pass. If you have a gold pass, it's in here down the road, it might apply to silver and emerald passes, but you want to go ahead and see that your pass is in here. There is still one more step that you need to go through. You need to go ahead and click on your, your access pass, make sure it shows as selected. If it doesn't show selected, it may not connect and may not access it. So one of the issues that you could see if it's not showing this is if you go here and hit on join game, it's going to come right back to the screen. It'll show like it's trying to get into the game and then it'll come back to the screen. If that if that's the case, make sure you go over to inventory and make sure it's click on select. All right. And now once you go through those, those few steps, you register, you collect your blockchain, you make sure your wallet is attached and you select the pass. You can go ahead and log into the game, select your character. I have a whole other video that shows uh, the differences between each character. They also just dropped a medium article that kind of identifies it uh, in writing. And then you just click on join game. And what this should do is you'll see search server. And then you're going to see one of two screens, the screen that I'll show you here in a second, where it shows, give it a second or it's going to show Avalon and then on the bottom it's going to have the different blockchains that shows that you're logging into the game. Now you're into the game. If it if it tries to connect to a server and then boots you back out to uh, that that character select screen, um, there's one of two things either you need to select your pass or the server is down currently. Remember again, we are in alpha, so the server will be going up and down throughout the day. Every single day they are doing a reset on the servers which could take between 30 to an, 30 minutes to an hour. So during that time frame, you will not have access to the game. That just lets you know if it kicks you back to the, your character screen, uh, they're, they're probably rebooting the server or making an update. All right, once you're in game, in order to get out of the game, get back to that menu screen, you hit escape. Just like most games, hit escape. You have the option of going ahead and resuming. You can go ahead and click on main menu, which will take you back to the character menu or you can quit out of the game. This is how you're supposed to quit out of the game right now. Do not try and do a hard close. Do not do anything because it could lock you out of the game. Click on escape, main menu, it takes you back to the, the menu itself. And then you can go ahead and select a new character. That's how you play the game. And to exit out completely, you click on exit. It'll close the application. You're good to go for the next time. All right, I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, if you have any other issues. If you do, go ahead and report them in the Discord if you're, if you're seeing any concerns. Again, remember, Alpha, there's going to be some issues. Um, I hope you all have, a, all have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.